Hello, hello, all my art-loving people out there. Today is Friday, July 7th, and the seventh day of our watercolor advent calendar opening. I have the box right here. I am dying to dig into it. So let's see what's in the day seven envelope already. I have very little time to work on World Watercolor Month today, so it's going to be short and sweet and hard to beat, but I'm hoping the day seven envelope will give me some inspiration. The prompt is pretty straightforward though. The prompt is lemon. So if I just paint a lemon, then that's pretty easy, right? Maybe. I think I messed up my camera and was opening this without having hit record, but I didn't pull it out yet. So the surprise is still a surprise. <laughs> but what I was saying was, it's so exciting having something to look forward to every day. And I was curious, how I could make that happen in my everyday life. And sometimes that does happen when I have a fun painting idea or a fun painting in progress. I'm really, really excited to get to the studio every single day, but I'm going to think on that some more. In the meantime, let's pull this out and see what we have. Oh, I did that on purpose. I knew it was the other way, but are you ready? Oh no, the paint sample's upside down. Aha, I was hoping this would be a yellow today. It is Daniel Smith's Quinopthalone Yellow, PY138. This less common yellow is bright, cheery, and low staining. Lemons, bananas, daffodils, dandelions, sunflowers, canaries, goldfinches, yellow tangs, and golden frogs are just a few subjects that come to mind for this color. It can also be used as a soft complement to lavenders and purples. Ooh, I bet. What does it inspire you to paint? The prompt is lemon, so we'll probably just play it simple and paint a lemon today because, like I said, I have no time. There was a reason I changed my video schedule to once a week and now here we are trying to do it once a day but it is fun to show you guys all these advent calendar openings. Well first off let's see what this color looks like just on its own. Let me pull my brush out of the drawer here and then we'll paint a lemon with it but we will need to add in some other colors because a lemon has shadows. That is beautiful. Interesting how bright it looks on the camera screen. It is definitely like a lemon type of yellow, but it has a depth to it too that for some reason, the camera's not really picking up. Maybe it is, maybe it's because my room is so dark that I'm thinking it is darker than the camera is showing, but someday I'll get those studio lights put up. All right, lemon time. Well, I thought it would be really fun to paint from life, but my lemon is looking a little sad here. <laughs> Poor lemon, didn't use it fast enough. Usually when I leave lemons in our fridge, Riley eats them up right away. I guess I could paint this one if I put it like bruised side down, but it's kind of ugly and I want a happy lemon. So we're gonna go use a reference photo from the internet. This seemed like the perfect excuse to pull out my very large Daniel Smith palette. This was a gift and it still blows my mind. I love this so much. Look at all these colors. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. This one here, I think says that it is the Quinn yellow PY138. Yeah. So I am excited that I have this yellow in here because it's beautiful. That's going to be really, really useful. I've been planning in my mind to make a bunch of a little bit smaller palettes using all these colors so that it feels more, I don't know, more manageable and I would pull them out way more often and enjoy them. At the same time, there's something extremely satisfying about pulling out this entire palette and using it, and I have this beautiful swatch sheet, so all the colors are not a mystery. And the holes here are where I had other brands in because she sent me a few other brands too, so that's why I have these half pans holding those places so that I didn't lose the order of my swatch sheet. Anyway, I am probably gonna stick this dot on this, maybe like I did my Daniel Smith palette for what was that, day one? I think it was, yeah, that was day one. But this will give us some other colors and then I'm going to use my Etcher A6 sketchbook. It's small, but it's mighty. <laughs> and I have this page here that I accidentally skipped. So we will do our lemon on this. We have a little lemon sketch that only took moments, probably 15 seconds to sketch that, <laughs> which is awesome. Okay, maybe 30, I don't know. I got this all out just in case because of the lemon skin being kind of modeled. I wondered if I might want to use it. Oh, I forgot to clean my water, but it's not too bad. That's from yesterday. 
using all of those Viviva ice cream colors. <laughs> so 16 colors got wiped off in here and it's not that dirty or muddy, so that's interesting. Plan A is to put a super, oops, drop some, super light coating of this over the, oops, that's not light enough where I need it light, over this whole lemon because I want it that way. I'm gonna dab a little bit up over there, leave some hair on the subject always. Probably should have lightened my pencil lines a little bit more, but I didn't. Too late now. <laughs> Okay, and then we'll deepen some of these colors here and there. It's a little speck of white there and there that I did not get, and I'm gonna leave it, at least for now. And then this kind of has a darker yellow outline across the whole thing, which is interesting. And now we need a shadow color, and it's kind of like an orangey brown color. Looking over here, I'm thinking maybe the yellow ochre, probably the quin gold. I'm gonna use the quin gold because it's a little bit, I don't know, it has more life to it than the yellow ochre. It's a PO49 Quin Gold. Cool. So we'll give this a shadow and hopefully it will touch the lemon, bleed into the lemon because that would be great. Yes, look at that. Love it. That's a beautiful color. A little too far down, but it's probably stuck there now. Oh, my shadow's just gonna be down there. Not enough water in my brush. I'm having some water control issues here. That's fun. Now I'm gonna deepen that shadow right at the lemon edge. Very cool. And now we have kind of like a mm, gray green yellow shadow. So I was thinking of using the olive green, which is here, which I have used olive green when I've been painting a lemon in the past. So this, this could be fun, totally fun. Ooh, yeah, I like it. Okay, bring some in here. And I don't mind so much if we get some blooms because it'll look like the lemon skin modeling, in my opinion. You know, I need that Quinn Gold back out because I found another place it needs to be. Right there. And olive green for this little nubbin. Mm -hmm. And then I want to see if I can just kind of pull some of this yellow into this area. And then I want to just drop some water here and maybe sprinkle some water on it. Could be fun. Need a hard surface to bang it against. <laughs> and for some reason, uh, it's just too falling apart too much. What do you, what am I meaning? I'm meaning that it's blending into the background too much. So. It's a little tricky because I already put the shadow in, but I think that this needs a background color because it's just disappearing too much on the white paper. I'm actually going to bring just a touch of the olive green because it's super watery right there now, so it'll spread out a lot. So just a little bit of that here, pulling up a little bit. And we need a dark background. Well, blue is the typical thing to use, or purple. Oh, purple would be pretty. Looking over at all my purples. There's so many. Ooh, amethyst genuine. Ultramarine red would be interesting. I haven't really used that color. We're gonna use that one. Now I have to find it. That's the trick. Hmm, right there. I suspect PV15, ultramarine red, yeah. So this should be interesting because everything's really wet. I do see a place I wouldn't mind. Mm, actually, I kind of like the way that's bleeding. It's just really wet, <laughs> so it could be a little scary. Ultramarine red. Oh yeah, see, I must have gotten a really good coating of this on the swatch sheet. I suspected it was gonna be pretty light tinting, and it is, but it's very pretty. Oh, I got some in the lemon, but you know what? That's not gonna hurt a thing. Often when I teach my students to paint fruit, I have them use, especially in pairs, I have them use a purple for the shadow colors because it works really well. So if I drop some purple in here, well, that is a-okay. I'm gonna leave a little bit of, well, I was gonna leave a little white, but you know, then you touch the lemon and things go haywire. Why is Molly up there meowing? I don't know. I always yell up at her. I'm like, we're down here as usual as we are every day, but you know, meow up there looking for us. <laughs> she's silly. I know she knows we're down here, so that's probably not why she's meowing, but it just seems a little funny. Seems like she's looking for us. 
I was gonna say I didn't mind the lost edge there, but since my pencil line is there, a lost edge doesn't work all that well, unfortunately. So that's too bad. And then I kind of liked that wider, lighter glow there, so I thought maybe we could go with it, but nah, it's not quite working. Okay, that did mess up our shadow a little bit, so we may need to refine it a tiny bit. That's better. And then we have something weird going on in the lemon itself, so let's fix that. Okay, this is the Quin Gold again. And I think I want to bring a little bit of the Quin Gold into where we put the olive green. Yeah, perfect. It's way better. And I think it's too late to use salt, but I don't really need it or want it anyway, so no big deal there. There. That's fun. I think overall I'm pretty happy with that. I will sign it, date it, label it when it dries. And Post it on Instagram. <laughs> I think I will go ahead and put this dot card on this. It's a little bit bigger than the pan, but that's okay. It kind of would be fun to have kept these dot cards all out separately and not incorporated them, but I am keeping the little note card so I know what colors we received. I'm wetting the back of this because I found that if I soak the back of this, it works really well to get that paint dot off. Anyway, I am keeping the information cards so at the very end I'll probably pull out every color we received and do a painting with all the colors. That would be fun. Well that's a wrap for World Watercolor Month Day 7, the Prompt Lemon, and the Day 7 Advent Calendar. I hope you're having as much fun with this series as I am. It is such a blast. Guys, I will see you hopefully in tomorrow's video if all goes well. Bye for now. I have very little time to work on World Watercolor. World... Hmm. That's hard to say. <laughs> what does it inspire you to prompt? Prompt. I looked at the word prompt right as I said that. That was funny. And hang on. No, that's not quite right. <laughs> Dog is done. Where'd he go, Jack? <laughs>